If I gave you the option between a pound of water or a pound of diamonds, which one would you choose? For most of us, we would pick the diamonds without a second thought because we have easy access to water whenever we want it. Now, picture yourself in this scenario. You're stranded in the desert with no food or water, and the nearest town is 10 miles away. Do you take the diamonds or the water? Now that we're under different circumstances, you decide the water is more important. Without it, you will not make it to the town and die, whereas the diamonds will offer no help. If water is essential to life, whereas diamonds are not, why are diamonds more expensive? This is a diamond water paradox. To help understand this paradox, we first have to look back at renowned economist Adam Smith. In studying this phenomenon, Smith looked at a concept called marginal utility. Marginal utility can be defined as the satisfaction a consumer gains from an additional unit of good or service. The first time we obtain a good or service, we gain large amounts of happiness. But the second time we receive it, our happiness might be a little bit less. Each new good or service we receive will bring us a little less happiness until we reach a point where we no longer need the good or service. Let's apply this to our desert scenario. The red bar above your head indicates the level of marginal utility you receive after each water bottle. At first, the marginal utility of a single bottle of water is extremely high. This bottle of water is necessary for you to survive and you drink it in 10 seconds to quench your thirst. A little bit later through the desert, you were given another water bottle. The second bottle of water is also very satisfying, and you drank this one as well. After each bottle of water, however, you realize you no longer feel as satisfied because you have already drank plenty of water. By the time you reach the town, you no longer feel thirsty. You'll experience no satisfaction from receiving more water and your marginal utility will be zero. We can use this graph to help show the law of diminishing marginal utility. The red line indicates total utility, whereas the blue line indicates marginal utility. After you finish the first water bottle, your marginal utility and total utility are at the same number. In this case, that would be 50. Your total utility, or amount of satisfaction from each water bottle, continually goes up until your marginal utility reaches zero. The marginal utility keeps decreasing because you gain less and less satisfaction after each additional water bottle. Once your marginal utility has reached zero, your total utility will be highest. Because you haven't received any diamonds on this trip, the marginal utility of diamonds will remain constant. Once the marginal utility of water falls below the marginal utility of diamonds, you should start requesting diamonds instead. Choosing diamonds over water at this point will allow you to not only make it out of the desert safely, but also give you diamonds along the way. After you start receiving diamonds, you will also see a diminishing marginal utility for them, as you saw with water. It is important to note that utility is relative and is dependent on the individual and the situation. For example, some people may gain pleasure from watching football, but others may not. Even if both people enjoy watching football, one might enjoy it more than the other. Consumers also hold subjective value over certain goods depending on how desired they are, regardless of if they hold any use. Items such as diamonds are scarce and hard to come by, thus increasing their subjective value. This is a diamond water paradox. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.